Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is my sponsor ICO review of ShareRing. The team has asked for me to review the project in an ICO and I will do that in a fair unbiased manner and I will rate this ICO according to others that I have seen in the past. All right, so let's get started. What is ShareRing? ShareRing is all about the sharing economy. The best way to think about it is the Uberization of services. Um, they want to basically offer an app that is a marketplace full of uh, sharing services. So for example, even ride sharing or uh, things like travel destinations, um, also cooking, fixing things, um, basically everything that you could think of where someone can be tasked to do a job for you and someone also can volunteer to do a job. Um, is part of the sharing economy. And what they want to do is really three things. And I'm scrolling down a little bit on this webpage because this really, really <laughs> explains it. One of the reasons why I love this project is they're not making it complex. This idea and concept is super easy uh, to understand and follow. And really, they're trying to do three things. One is what I mentioned, they want to have this marketplace full of all services that you as a you as a consumer can basically go on and purchase. So whether or not you need um, plumbing fixed or you need furniture moved or you need your computer cleaned or you need a ride to the airport or you're looking for a house to stay, anything that you need a service for, it can provide for you. Now, the two other things they're layering in is a global way to pay because right now sharing says one of the biggest problems around the world is there's a lot of sharing services out there but they all use different kind of currency especially around the world most of them use fiat currency but if you're in europe north america asia they take different currencies and you have to exchange and stuff they're like no they want to utilize the sharing token as the universal uh token or payment system within this marketplace so that no matter where you go you have share ring tokens that you can use to pay, which is really great. And then also they want to make everything secure. Obviously, this is inherent with blockchain technology. Everything is uh, transparent and mutable, uh, really hard to hack. So that's what they want to do. And that's really the concept. Uh, like I said, this is very easy to understand. They basically want to make a marketplace and there is right here. This is kind of, they don't have the app yet, but they're de developing it. But this is what you would pretty much see. So no matter where you are, you pull up the app and you can see all the services around you. And then you could click on it and utilize it. And let me show you something in the white paper that they have. And this is exactly what I was talking about in terms of the, the share the sharing economy, the sharing marketplace, in terms of what it can have. I, I made many examples, but there's a lot more that I didn't mention. And they mentioned um, pretty thoroughly in this white paper. I will say this white paper is one of the easiest white papers I've read. It's very easy to read. It tells you exactly, you know, exactly everything you need to know about this project, which is really great because some of these white papers are just really, really hard to go through. But um, you know, things I mentioned, transport, drivers, architecture, I mean, yeah, uh, agriculture, I should say, um, finance, food, travel, real estate, time, asset, transportation, basically anything you could think of, right? It's, uh, it's part of the sharing economy. All right, so going back uh, to the webpage, they have some partnerships that's already waiting to be launched. Um, in fact, there's, uh, I've been shared that there's other major partnerships that they can announce you under NDA, but they are coming. So just wanted to mention that. Also, what's interesting thing is they already raised basically privately $3.8 million for this project, which shows that, um, you know, there's a lot of people that really believe in this project, right? That's, that's kind of hard. A lot of ICO companies you see out there, you know, they, they really can't get VC money or angel, you know, money so that they have to do, you know, a lot of token sales and so forth. It's good to see that sharing already could raise money because uh, that shows that, you know what, there's people that believe in this project, right? Here is the roadmap, which is, uh, which is coming up. There's not, you don't have to wait years for this project, okay? So... Of course, they're having a token sale right now. The main sale uh, continues on in May, and then they go issue the token in May. But they go deploy their test in August, 
and then they're going to launch their main main app and platform basically in October this year. Uh, I like how they did months because a lot of projects do like quarter, so you don't know which month out of the quarter. They're telling you exactly. So they go open up in October, and then they go add new clients, which is some of those NBA partners that I mentioned in November. And that's pretty much it to the roadmap. They're, they're going to be up and running by October. So that's a really, really good thing. Now let's look at the team. The team is full of... Um, full of really smart people. Uh, I was told that there was about eight developers on hand, uh, which is not bad for a small project, right? But I wanna concentrate on a few of these guys, two of the main guys and, and, the, main, and the main advisor. Looking at the founder, who is Tim, uh, this guy definitely has a lot of experience um, around a lot of places and ultra, also a serial entrepreneur. It is definitely, you could tell, so he started out uh, being an IT, IT manager, moved into project managers. He worked uh, at Barclays Capital, which is co quite impressive. Then he founded BioWatch, and then moving on, he co-founded this ProCon. And then, and then uh, he's a, he sits on advisors of this ventures group, and then he founded this other company, right? And then another company, and another company, and now sharing, right? So this guy has been around. Um, he's worked in a lot of places, so he definitely has a lot of experience. Definitely a serial entrepreneur, which is really good. Um, and then you look at the other guy, who is the COO, Rohan. And if you go down, definitely has a lot of car experience. I've noticed that right away. Right, so moving on, he's a technician, then he got into uh, exporting, and then went into this car sales where he's an account manager, and then general manager, and then kind of director of this, and then now he's into a shear ring. So a guy that has a lot of car experience, um, probably because he worked with Tim on some of these prior companies in terms of uh, some of the automotive car sharing, um, companies that he's worked at so that's probably the relationship so those are two main guys and then there's about you know eight developers on the team and then i want to mention richard who is part of this crypto asset design group um they seem to do everything for icos and they mentor uh, and incubate a lot of lot of icos and you can see here that they they finished and they're on advisory board for many 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 companies and uh, definitely one, and then you could see sharing listed. So definitely a company and even a person that can really help ICOs and get them off the ground. Seeing how they mentored and advised so many of these, uh, these companies, and some of them are pretty big. Uh, some of them you guys have heard of before, such as uh, Bancor, um, let's see, Block Mason, Kasha, uh, Skycoin, uh, play to live uh, some of these guys are pretty big, so uh, definitely a good person and company to have as a advisor to the project. All right, so that, that's kind of the team. And then let me show you uh, something else that I don't usually cover is basically how active or uh, how much followers they have. And it's really easy to see, and not a lot of people pay attention to this. First of all, their Telegram has over 13,000 members, which is good. But sometimes some companies kind of fake that. They have promotions or something to get people to join, but really there's not that many people following. And one way I found to kind of really test this, whether or not these are true people that believe in a project or not, is look at how many people actually applaud them on their Medium blog. So you can see this is their sharing, this is a sharing Medium blog, and you can see every single article, you got 650 applause, you know, 489, 528, 463, right? So there's definitely